My name is African Tigress. After exploring Cape Town for a while, I decided to venture into a crazy road trip from Cape Town to Maseru, which is the capital city of Lesotho. Lesotho is a country that is surrounded by South Africa. For this adventure, we are using the popular scenic garden route and we shall be covering about 2,000 kilometers in about five days. In the last two episodes of the Cape Town to Lesotho road trip, we covered the journey from Cape Town to Hamanas, where we slept the first night, then went to the southernmost tip of Africa at Cape Agalas and slept at Mosel Bay in the second day. Today, I shall be giving you a raw and filtered adventure of the countryside South Africa still on this road trip from Mosel Bay all the way to the Maseru Lesotho border. Let's do this. The garden route is very popular and whenever you visit Cape Town, South Africa, everyone recommends this for you. You are basically driving on the edge of Africa to the south for most of the trip. I mean, the last piece of land in Africa to the south. Good morning. So this is day three and this is where we spent. This was our room, part of our room. And we are leaving. So we've put our bags ready, as you can see. And this is the view from where we slept, a very nice view. So, yeah, let's go to the car. How this? Well, I'm not so sure about the name of this neighborhood. I'll probably put it in the description or just somewhere as I'm editing this or once I get to know it. But this is really beautiful. This is what this place looks like. Beautiful houses. Let me just take a little walk on this side to show you this beautiful neighborhood. Wow, is this a camper van? Oh yeah, look, there's a, the view of the ocean. Wow. And then there's some tents down there. They look like tents maybe where people can rent them. And then I can see the water and the city of Mosel Bay. Actually, this is, ah, what's the name? H something. <laughs> I've forgotten the name of this place, but it starts with letter H and it's next to Mosel Bay. So that is Mosel Bay. The city you see over there, that's Mosel Bay. What a beautiful morning. So time to continue the adventure. So our first stop today is going to be at Tisakama, Tisikama. It's a national park. So Judith will be going kayaking and doing other activities while I'll do different stuff at Tisikama. Yeah, let's go. Cotton ball shovels, hot bush hills. This is where we slept. Good morning, Ashby. Today you've not said good morning to my camera. should come back to Kenya. What is the culture? What is the... It's a... What's the culture? I know that in like a wild coast, there is the Kosa people, right? Yep. But you don't really see them. And the Zulu? You only see them after Port Elizabeth. Yeah, yeah. wild coast. Yeah. That's wild coast, right? Yeah. yeah, we have stopped somewhere here at 
George and we just filling up the gas tank, whatever that is. What is the tank? Hmm? Yeah. Is the tank? Oh yeah, we're just trying to fill up that before we proceed with our adventure. How is it so far? Yeah, we're good. All good. You love it? Yeah. All right. Bed. All right. Enjoying the ride. All right, so Judith has stopped out, has stepped out to get us some coffee and we will proceed. Thank you. You're welcome. First, of the farms. Wow. Wow, like this is rich. You have a big farm with horses with a view. You must be very rich. Anyway, our next stop is nice now. Life goes up and it goes down. I know my mom taught me that. I figured why we fool around so little. And we keep track of time. Being so serious, idiots. Thinking it will matter, keep me company downtown. Before the clock runs out Sun is shining but the rain is welcome too Friends are nearby, don't need another view Time is not on my mind but then it's you Oh, I love it when the love comes around And then I remember All things must pass But I'm not gonna wake up, wake up I'm not ready, let me have another day Don't wake up, wake up Steady cause I'm happy I'm not gonna wait No, no, not yet Whoa No, not yet Whoa No, no, not yet Whoa I'm afraid I'll end up nowhere They keep saying I'll be fine But how you know that I'll be there When it feels like I'm Lying every time Someone else Friends are nearby, don't need another view Time is not on my mind, but then it's you Oh, I love it when the love comes around And then I remember All things must pass But I'm not gonna wake up, wake up I'm not ready, let me It's beautiful Well, so for those of you who are asking, we're now in Naizna, so this is Naizna. I didn't even know how to read it. K-N-Y-S-N. So it's called Naizna. I was trying to read it. I was like, Kin, Kin, Kina, Kisna, Kisna. It's such a quite relaxing place. Hey, it's beautiful. Where you can go and relax. Naizna. It's beautiful. Oh, look at those old houses. Nice night is nice, <laughs> right? Yeah. Why is it called nice now? Because it's nice, I guess. Yeah, because it's nice. Nice night is nice. Deal with action. Yeah. Wow, I didn't think Nice is this big. Because in the big. map, it's written small like the other, like George is more prominent on the map than Nice but Nice feels bigger, or am I wrong? Um, I wouldn't know about the size because I've never checked on that one, but I feel like George is tiny. Yeah. See. But you may be shocked the that George is bigger than Nice now. Not the post office. There's no post office. Please. 
What you doing guys? What you doing? Oh, look at these flowers. Beautiful garden roadside. Roadside. I love this is called the high. I have this plant. It's called hydro hydrogen or something. Um, oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, I see the township. Wow. Wooden so you houses. see there's like people with Wi-Fi, can you see that? Yeah. You're asking of Wi-Fi, just one, two, three houses with Wi-Fi and the rest do not have Wi-Fi. You know, actually... So those people are the ones that may watch certain things, you see? Yeah. So what, what I've learned from visiting townships in uh, other countries is that many people, they uh, maybe they, they don't have running water or electricity, Yeah. But uh, they have a generator and they do have TV. Are you kidding me? Yeah, generator? And mobile phone. Where? Everybody has got all that. It's mobile uh, phone, yes. Yeah. Everyone. I'm not saying everyone. But like, for example, in Cambodia, Southeast Asia, that was the thing. And oh. I saw it a lot also in uh, South America because oh. it's about priorities. I get it. But not, you know, not, not in townships in, in Africa, though. In Colombia, in Colombia, for example. Looks like this camera was vandalized. Yeah. <laughs> 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 He's gonna be there. He's gonna be there. He's gonna be there. He said video. Mm. Look at that house. You know it's yo. If if it was not say. for poverty, this, one, yeah. this would yeah. be nice camping places, B and B. No, but just like if you modify it, you know? like if you modify it, make it nice, you know. Yeah. Don't worry, I'm gonna I'm gonna drive fast. So what I'm saying. Is that so one thing I'm loving about this drive of south africa is that in south africa you always have these places of the highway where you can actually park and stop so as you can see that is the highway and after about five every five kilometers like i just see them so often there's so many so you can just stop somewhere off the highway park your car chill rest do whatever you want to do before you hit the highway so we are shoot so we are almost uh, approaching a place called platens bay platens bay platenbeck bay platen platenbeck bay okay that one we are almost approaching that place and our next stop probably like our final stop today might be chitsikama or jeffreys bay so yeah what a beautiful place to admire nature. Let me see what's written here. Oh, oh okay, we in Naisna. This place is Naisna. So this is still Naisna, and you can see the South Africa National Parks. So maybe they're the ones who created this. Oh, look at that. so beautiful I wonder what's in this forest can I go to this forest and see what's in it oh okay cool what if I disappear I'll use my microphone to look for you <laughs> <laughs> Bluetooth yeah I'll use Bluetooth to look for you oh, zip lines Just a little exploration to see what's here. I think I've seen a place they do like zip lines. Nice, nice zip lines. Nice, nice zip lines. Can do this. Oh, it's a national park. Hello. Hi, I'm good. Is this a national park? Yes. Oh, what's the name of the park? Garden of Eden. Oh, Garden of Eden. <laughs> oh, okay. Wow. <laughs> Tell me. Tell me. It's the Garden of Eden. African tiger. Yeah, it's the Garden of Eden. Um, Where is the forbidden fruit? Yeah, where is the forbidden fruit? You have cut it down. Ah. You got it? Yeah. Where is it? Where is it? <laughs> it's beautiful. It's so beautiful. Such a beautiful place. This forest untouched. Untouched. That's what he said because. Here. Yeah. Yeah. Rijk leave aan uzelf. Of uzelf. 
What are you doing? Rastaman. Wagwan. Wagwan. Platin. Platin bag. Oh, uh, whatever. Platin bag bay. Platin bag. Ah, the whole ha ha ha. Who cares about the whole ha? Get rid of the. Just look at that other view from the other side. Yeah, it's a very beautiful So mountains view. to your left, and then on, if you look from the other side, you'll be seeing like the ocean from any other angle. Wow. Platinum Bag Bay. See that sign there? Yeah, that's the airport. There's yeah. an airport here. Airport. Yes, obviously there's an airport. Why would there not be an airport here? There is an airport. Ooh, it's beautiful. It must oh, be an airport. Sharks, though. Some yeah. sharks here. Yeah. But look at this bridge. Check out that view. It's amazing. There goes Ultra Lake Store. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Paradise. Yeah, it's beautiful. So beautiful. So beautiful. Oh, so the target. left the Tsikama toll gate. How much do you pay? 57 or yeah, 50? 57 bucks. 57 rands to use these roads. Anyway, it's worth it because the roads are well maintained and it's beautiful and scenic. As you can see, it's forest on both sides of the road. And we are on a bridge. Is this where people do bungee jumping? Yeah. Is it this bridge? No. No. I don't know. No. Is. no. This is the bridge where people do bungee jumping. Check out that restaurant. Oh yeah, well it's yes, bungee jump. No, that's not oh, true. Yes. So this is where people today. do bungee jumping, but I don't think this is the highest. The highest bungee jump is in Macau, China. So this is one Maybe of the Africa. top ones. Yeah, in Africa this is the highest bungee jump. Second is Victoria Falls. Oh Sarabatman district. Yeah, so welcome to the Eastern Cape. Ooh, ooh. Welcome to the Eastern Cape. We are now in the Eastern Cape. We're off the Western Cape. Yeah, we're just leaving the Western Cape. The moment we cross that, we are in the Eastern Cape. After the talk, get you? Yes, like now, after the sign. Of course, probably, I believe after the sign, we are in the Eastern Cape. Because the tour gate is still in the Western Cape. Okay. Unless I'm mistaken, I'm, I'm here to be corrected. You are not a guide, you are just someone. I'm not a guide, by the way. We are in the Eastern Cape, Titicama. Hey, Goodbye. Yeah. yeah. Welcome to Titicama. It's actually the east side, eh? We were in the west side. Now yeah, we're, in the, we're east side. in the east side, Titicama. Yeah, no. Yep, so this is in Titicama the Khoisan village, village yeah. Titikama Forest Village Trust yeah. and this is the highest bungee jump in Africa, right? Okay, let's proceed. Shop them. Shop. Check out that place there. Yeah, it yeah. looks nice. Titikama. The Garden. Garden Road Adventures. Yeah, the Garden Road. Tsikama Tourism Association. See those buses we're talking about? Yeah. So I will try to call her again to say, okay, it's not going to work today. Okay? Blaukrans? Blaukrans. I've used Banji Bridge. Because the one in Macau is from a building. So in terms of our bridge, this is the world's mm. highest Banji Bridge. No. What are you doing, Judy? I'm Dutch. I'm sorry. <laughs> so what if you're Dutch? Hi Ash. What's up? You good? Yeah, I'm okay. Uh, beware of snakes. Hey? Beware of snakes. Beware of snakes? Yeah. 
walk. Imagine skywalk. Imagine bungee. Where is it? But like it's written people of snakes. Oh. Uh, small promote your business. Do you know African tigers? No. <laughs> you don't know African tigers? Oh. Oh <laughs> Judith, Judith, you're crazy. How's it, bro? Oh, this looks oh amazing. my goodness. So that's the bungee. Yo. 216 meters going down. It's 216? Yeah. <laughs> so it's 216 meters just going so down the bungee jumping that's area. Is the bridge? Uh, I'm gonna give you a nice view of the bridge. And oh my goodness! Ash, Yo. could you take one for the team? No, nah, I'm good. Please. No, nah, I'm good. Please, I'll pay you. I know, I'm good. No, I'll pay. Apart from paying it for you, I will also pay you if you take one for the team. Uh, YouTube, I'm sorry, but I can't. <laughs> Love money, but I can't. <laughs> A thousand dollars for you to bungee jump. I know. I know. Yo! How come she's not screaming? You can't hear the sound. It's too far. No, she's not screaming. She's brave. You think she died? Another one. That one screamed. That one screamed. Yo! Wow, that one is more intense. <laughs> but they don't come from Kenya, I'm the only one. They would love to be Kenyans, but they are not. Ash, would you love to be a Kenyan? I'm an African. I ain't got no nationality. Good, just like me. I can Just be like a Somalian, me. I can be a Nigerian, I can be South someone African. from Botswana, someone from anywhere, as long as I'm in Africa. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I did you, right? You have... My mother did like this... Uh, DNA <laughs> thing. And uh, there's Nigerian blood. In you? Yeah. <laughs> so I'll give you a nice offer. Since I'm Nigerian, I can get you a good offer. We just met somebody, we're going to give him something animals? that we think it's You're supposed to be given to him because he needs to use the material. Yeah, because he makes and sells uh, and stuff. You can't be greedy. Yep. You can't be selfish, you got to give people if there's need for us to do so. Hey. Yeah. Yeah, so I got some package here from YouTube. No, we can give him some and then we'll give our people some along the way. So I can so give him... We can give him this and that. No, this and this. Uh, that one. This is coming from YouTube and we are presenting it to you so that you can make use of your artworks. Make money. Okay, thank you so yeah. much. It's right. coming from All right. YouTube, but then... Uh, they gave me... I'm a YouTuber. Do you watch YouTube videos? Yeah, I do. Do you have your phone here? You have some internet? Yeah, yeah, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel. Oh, yeah. yeah. So make money, bro. Okay. Do whatever you want. Yeah, to do go things. make some beads, go yeah. make some work. Yeah, yeah. 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 This one is actually can make more than this. Is like it? if you get more beads, yeah. Yeah, this yeah. is a lot. This oh, is yeah. half a yeah, kg. Yeah, especially in this I, I can. Uh, yeah, you oh, can yeah? make a yeah. lot. Yeah, it's good. It's good. It's yeah. Good. 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 On YouTube is African tigers. African tigers. tigers. Oh, I'm Leonard. Leonard? Yes. Oh, Leonard from? from Zim. Me, I'm from Zimbabwe. Oh, you, my... Maswere Zim. Maswere Zim. Maswere Zim. Apa na mkoma, we good. Apa na mkoma. All right. On day P. Yeah. Zim. 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 All right. All right. All the best. Okay, Thank Leonard. You. Thanks, man. Um, I guess they're pretty expensive because it's location, location. Yes, the area. Yeah. I think oh, they are rented that, houses. Yeah. These are just apartments, I think, to, to rent to for rent, the night yeah. or something. Yeah. Perhaps yeah. you're coming from Cape Town and then you get stuck here. Hmm. Or rather, you spend your time here. This is the Khoisan village. Activities, I think I'm gonna go. I'm, what, what you gonna do? I'm, I'm gonna go for bike ride. So this is the entrance of the national park. Mm. So yeah. which entrance are we going? Yeah. I don't know whichever. Maybe but, this one. Yeah. This one. 
Whichever. Uh, probably, here. yeah. Oh, I think it's okay. I think you just write down. Yeah. Hello, sir. Good afternoon. You're right. How are you? Good, man. I'm all right. Coming for a day visit overnight. Uh, we want to see what we can do. We were, we were meant to go to Untouched Adventures. Untouched Adventures is here, yeah. yeah. I'm gonna be spending our nights at Jeffrey's Bay. <laughs> Why are you laughing? YouTubers, we are going to spend a night <laughs> in Jeffrey's Bay. We are not going to spend our night in case you get it twisted. <laughs> what's, what's the difference? She said we're gonna spend our night. We're yeah, gonna spend a night. Okay, we're gonna spend like, what's in, the difference? In case, in case some of you get twisted, because I know people on YouTube are clever. So you start thinking of things. Don't think of things. We are spending a night okay, cool. in We're gonna Jeffrey's spend Bay. A night in We're Jeffrey's not spending our night. <laughs> it's the same shit. Mm, I don't know. English okay, is Okay, whatever. English mm, is an imported language Okay, too. so the next yeah. off-ramp uh, is Jeffrey's Bay. It's coming up in the next one kilometer. Okay, so we're going to spend a night in Jeffrey's Bay. Well said. Then in the morning, said. we're going to pick our friend Judith. We just because we left off. her where? It's a Tikama. She's doing a bit of some kayak tours and stuff. Yeah, then we'll pick her after that. But for us, we're going to be exploring and this. In case you may wonder why we left Judith, uh, we had a bit of some issue at the entrance of uh, Tsitsikama. Uh, well, it's a story for another day, but this is why we chose to let her go and meet her in the morning. But she said she may follow so we're just waiting if they finish their project that they're doing she may be with us anytime soon because she's got a transport that is going to take her from uh the place to where we are yep this is the signage to jeffrey's bay ladies and gentlemen we are in jeffrey's bay eastern cape south africa yep jeffrey's bay port elizabeth but we're getting into jeffrey's bay yeah surfing competition in jeffrey's bay I'm not sure if it's still being done, but from what I know, this is one of the best surfing spots and this is this is a place where there's also one of the best beaches in South Africa. So get familiar people and just feel the vibes and love the area. So this is called Fountain Small. I know it because I used to stay here for a second. So this is Fountain Small. And uh, yeah, this is Wave Crest to your left. And I'm going to turn right here because there's a certain area that I just want to stop at and then we're going to get a clear view of how this area looks like. Uh, I think we're going to step out of the car for like a second. It's just behind the McDonald's in Jeffers Bay. It's a tiny little strip road, but it's nice because it shows us a certain view that we may not have seen. Suppose we pass that, that area. We just want you guys to see how this place is. So uh, we are in Jeffreys Bay, right? The Nail and Beauty Bar. I need to do my nails. This is the beach. Mm. Looks like it's so nice and clean like Sea Point. And I don't know what that is whatever that is that it's nice the boat it's beautiful so there's a dolphin beach hotel here and it's like, it's like it's a in 200 place. meters turn left in 200 meters turn left anyway so we are heading to our accommodation tonight for the night and we are at jeffrey Jeffrey's Bay Beach, right? J Bay Beach, that's what she call it. It's beautiful. I'm not going to get out though. Yeah, but it's nice though. And the weather is super calm. It's no, really it's cold. Wind. Are you kidding me? I feel cold. I'm wearing shorts too. You can see I'm wearing shorts, but I kind of feel like it's this is cold. Bay. You wearing shorts? I'm wearing shorts. Really? The Australia of Africa. Jeffrey's Are there many Australians here? No, the, the, the lifestyle 
Uh -huh. It's more like Australian. And uh, you see, they have Times Square. Yeah, I'm gonna pop, turn I'm gonna left and then we're gonna then just like do turn it. right. Okay. Walking, into maybe you I'm not walk? walking. No, you don't want. No, I'll walk in the morning. You walk in the morning? Yeah. So you don't want to walk? No, I wanna get food. Where at the Mexican? They have a restaurant there or whatever. I don't mind some tortillas or quesadillas. Yeah, then we can get that right. into Mexican. Okay, cool. We can get some quesadillas. Jeffrey's Bay. And this is where we're gonna spend the night. It's amazing out here, people. Check out this place. It's super amazing. So this is Jeffrey's Bay for you people. We're gonna do a whole lot of tour of this place. Wait, so we're gonna eat or what? Or we have to go to the apartment? I wanna eat first. Uh, this is Ashby Ash Stacks on behalf of African Tigress. Uh, we are now in Jeffrey's Bay. Um, we just got here just now and the weather looks so cool. Well, I can't even feel any wind. Uh, this is just one of the coolest places that anybody must be at. I feel like skating right now because I've got my longboard. I can skate. I could play basketball, as you can see. There's quite a lot of things that I could do out here. Um, obviously, I'm going to take a stroll at one time at the beach, but not now because we want to go right there at the Mexican. So we ought to look for some food to eat first and then later on, we're gonna pop it up and we're gonna move from J Bay, go to the next one until we get to Lesotho. So, yeah, that's your boy. We still on the move. Like, subscribe, African Tigress. You're gonna see a lot of amazing stuff. You're gonna see a whole lot of Africa and the world at large. And also, we don't mind showing you things that you've never seen before. So, this is the main beach of Jeffreys Bay, uh, one of the coolest places that you could ever be to. The water is warm, the people are nice. It's not populated. Everything is just a good vibe. Uh, yeah, so this is the first walk, walking tour that I'm doing with the African Tigress. We're gonna do, we're gonna do more, maybe tomorrow or later on today. Also, we're gonna do a township tour of of this spot. We got guys playing, playing basketball here. So there's there's quite a lot of things that happen here. And what's nice is the people are not really that bad at all. You may not know them, but this is one of the coolest small towns that you could ever want to live in. Suppose you are in South Africa and you want property, look into Jeffreys Bay. It's worth it. Uh, okay, let me talk to the African tigress. Maybe she still want to sit in the car or she's going to take a walk. I introduce you to Nathan. His name is Nathan. And this guy, come here, Nathan. Come here, Nathan. Nathan. <laughs> so now I am with Nathan, but then he had not recognized me, and then he's saying, Who? And I'm trying to greet him, but then. <laughs> hey, Nathan, how are you? Nathan, this, you is, this is African Tigress. Uh, I know you were like, Who? What the fuck? Yes, You're going to work. I'm going to wait, bruh. Keep on breaking that mask. It's your fault. Why do you need a jacket though? We're getting in. No, if it it's gets not even cold. cold. It yeah, doesn't it, it doesn't cold. it doesn't even get cold in the Mexican. I don't care if it gets cold, I wanna keep warm because the city is cold. <laughs> She's lying. She's lying. So people welcome to the Mexican restaurant, one of the best places you could ever want to come to in Jeffreys Bay, Eastern Cape, South Africa. Uh, the food is crazy. You gotta love the food and you gotta love the vibe. I introduce you, African Tigress, to Mexican South Africa Thank in Jeffreys Bay. <laughs> Naomi! Hey! Uh, <laughs> I'm okay. Yeah. <laughs> How are you? Right, right. I'm good, I'm good. All the way from Cape Town. Yeah, we just arrived now. We're hungry. Yeah, okay. <laughs> you good? <laughs> good. Fantastic. Right. Where is Michelle? Did you see that in the office? Yay. How are you? I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. Hey, so nice to Tigress, see you. Uh, 
Okay, this is... Okay, I'm getting a bit emotional, but this is Michelle. <laughs> Michelle you. Dean. She is, she is one of the best people you could ever want to meet in, in, in Jeffreys Bay. And this is the Mexican, one of the craziest places anybody would ever want to come to. So, anywhere you are, whenever in J-Bay, the Mexican, you can get it popping. I'm just starting to eat now, so let's see how it's going to go, but I'm loving it. And I've got this fantastic juice that I got, a bit of some chili, I don't know if there's beer or liquor or something, but it's all good. It's fantastic. Okay, so now the African Tigress is coming out of the Mexican restaurant. And this place is one of the best places anybody could ever be at. Uh, <laughs> what happened? It fell down. Yeah. It fell? Ah, yeah. my bad. It's amazing. Okay, let's go. <laughs> okay. So now we're going to walk towards the hotel. And yeah, as you can see, the place is lit. The place is lit. to live this is where i spend the night and to that ash how are you i'm okay are you yes would you help me pack okay. uh, carry stuff so yeah this was my space very so nice view from here our car is there i'm calling your car our car okay. <laughs> yeah it's very beautiful place very safe neighborhood nice place to stay so hope I'm not forgetting anything go check so basically it's a very very beautiful place this is what it looks like this was ashroom and that was my room and these are a lot of rooms in here there's a kitchen and this is the lounge so Oh, there's a working space here. I didn't even explore this place because we got here at night. And then you have the view of the ocean from this point. It's actually a beachfront property. Wow, look at this. And look at this other room. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Amazing. People on the beach. Wow, it was very beautiful. It's very, 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 very beautiful. You can just come chill here. Yeah, just giving you a glimpse of where we stayed. And I think there's a kitchen to this side. Yeah. There's a kitchen to this side. Do we want this or do we give it out? Uh, let's, let's give somebody else. Okay, we'll give yeah. it out. Okay, all this, I'm just showing around. Okay. The space. All right. So. Yeah, yeah, I'll come downstairs. So, yeah, this is the kitchen area. It's a beautiful place. Time to leave. Have you double checked the room? Do you double check the room again? My room and your room. Beautiful property. Go 
copyright, 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 copyright. Yeah, yeah. It was one second. Nothing like one second. So, uh, let me turn on your microphone first. This place is hot. Yeah, I'm sweating. I don't know why. Yeah, this place is hot. Uh, and we just but next I to the beach. It. Okay, could you could you maybe pull open it fully for the wind? Then I'm not gonna speed. Eh? I'm gonna yeah, we're not slow. going to speed. I'm sure I've got a better light. Me being dark skinned, I'm now looking like a light skinned person. <laughs> My glasses are a mess. And how was your? Jeez, I slept in a nice place. Yours was nice. Mine was nice too. Oh, nice. Okay. Yeah. So this is the neighborhood where we slept. Very beautiful place, as you can see. Yeah. It's a posh neighborhood, beach property, beachfront, right? Yeah. Beachfront properties. It's just like two meters. How many meters? No, it's like after the houses on Maybe. this line, it's the beach. Yeah, it's just here. Yeah. Behind these houses, there's a beach. Yeah. There's water. Warm water in Jaybe. It would have been fun if we could. We were camping though. Yeah. And, uh, or we could get a, like this, that train we saw. I like the fact that it's quiet out here and. It's beautiful. Wow. It's, it's, it's different from the other cities. You know, when you are in Cape Town or when you're in Joburg, there's a lot of hustling and bustling and stuff. But this kind of makes sense. Especially if you are an older person who does not have anything to do with the city life or the hippie life. You know, you want to have your vibe. Okay, I'm going to drive straight down just for you to take a quick view of the beach. Or okay, should we go cool. for it? Okay. I think... Question. Yeah? So far, of the cities we've passed, which one was your favorite? No, I'm good with Jeffreys Bay. I like you Jeffreys like Bay. Jeffers I also like the... I think Jeffreys Bay is good for me. I'm, I'm down for to Jeffreys Bay. For me, I loved Naisna. Although we didn't stay there. Oh yeah, Naisna was cool. Naisna I almost forgot about great. it. Naisna was lit. Naisna is the most beautiful city so far that I've seen. Like they're all beautiful, but there always has to be, you know, number one. It's yeah. Naisna for me. So this looks like a dead end, but then it's called Welcome to Lower Point. That's like a beach there. Yeah, it's a public beach. Can you see there's a shark warning? Should I park? Shark. You wanna go there? Yeah, yeah let's get to the beach. Okay. Let's get to the this beach. This is like a Jeffers Bay. I was about to say Cape Town. <laughs> <laughs> so we're just gonna check out this beach just for a few seconds and yeah. Uh, what's I up? love, I think this is the warmest we've experienced so far. Yeah, it's been rough where we're coming from. It was windy, but now I feel like this is nice. And trust me, the water may be warm. Very possible. Because already people are swimming. Yeah. Uh, oh. Also, so there's there a shark bite here. Kids, yeah. So in case you get bitten by a shark. So suppose somebody get bitten by a shark, then probably you have to open in this thing here, yeah, and then yeah, okay. maybe you get something out of that. As written, you gotta follow what's written. Yeah, it's beautiful. See how it stretches, like from that side. Yeah, going all further the way down from there. there. It's an amazing spot. Yes, it is. <laughs> so where are we going now? Ghetto. Ocean View? Ocean View. Yeah, in We're going to Jay Ocean Bay. View. So we're going to link with the people in Jay Bay in Ocean View? Okay. The township in Jeffreys Bay? It has... Okay. I can see you. I can see you. That's not your car. Do the owners. That's not your car. Oh! <laughs> That's the wrong car. I don't have a car. Oh, wait, bro. I don't have a car in this country anyway. Do the owners. Be the gentleman. Thank you. Okay, we're off. Yep. So we're going to Ocean View in um, Jeffreys Bay. Yep. Uh, we don't know whom we're going to talk to, but we'll see what's there, okay? All right. All right, cool. Uh, Bless up everybody, we're still on the move. Day number, I don't know for something, day something. We're not counting days, we're counting places. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we're in J-Bay right now. All right. Until we get to Lesotho, baby. Part of Jeffreys Bay, we're going to go to the other nicer part of Jeffreys Bay, to the other community of Jeffreys Bay. Mm -hmm. So we can perhaps start with Pelsras. It's more of a colored area, according to the South African lingua. But for us, we can just say it's a mixed race area. But in South Africa, they call them colored. So it's a colored community that will pass through. And then from there, 
we'll go into Ocean View. It's a mixed area of the colored people and the local black people of South Africa. So we're going to try to perhaps see and talk to some local people that are willing to talk to us. Uh -huh. Because on some of the stuff that we've been doing lately, some people are wondering why, why, wondering why are you not linking up with the locals? But now the thing is the locals, sometimes they may feel like they don't want to be on camera. Yeah. Some of them, they're shy to be on camera. So you won't really blame me or her, but we're doing our utmost to ensure that everybody who is linking up with us can have a chance to talk to us, we share ideas, we share our cultural you know, differences and, and all that. Yeah, mm. you know, this is interesting. Can you see the weather's just suddenly changed? That's Jeffrey's Bay for you. It was it's very warm, sunny. but look, it's, it's, it's raining it now. It started drizzling There's a bit of now. some shower now. Yeah. Light showers. Wow. So you see, these are all beach houses. Mm -hmm. Pulsras? Pulsras. Yes, this is a predominantly a colored area, mm -hmm. but I would like to call them mixed race area. I don't believe in what they say, but it's the South African way of saying colored, black. I, I don't believe in that. We okay. do not have color where we come from. So this is a mixed race area. Uh -huh. And we're going to just take a stroll on this area. I'm sorry, it's raining. We would have so walked. So we won't step, step so, out. But yeah, sure. we would have. So this is the beachfront. And sometimes if it's a it's Sunday. It's like a free beach. I remember, free access. Yes, free access. Some, I remember some years ago, 10 years ago, uh -huh. you'd see park cars parked there. And there was a club called Beachfront here. Uh -huh. So it's a popular place. It's called Beachfront. If you're in J Bay, you can check out Beachfront people. This is a cemetery. It's uh, yeah, and there's also like an island vibe here. It's a backpacker for people that want that. We ain't gonna talk much about that, but still, to your right here, where you see this, where these dogs are, and this Rasta boy is, Rasta man there. That's Beachfront. It's a popular spot in uh, Jeffreys Bay. People party here. Uh -huh. Yeah. If you don't know now, you know. We're not tour guides. We are explorers, we travel places, and we know about places before we go there. Mm. So perhaps we may have had been here before, but now we are documenting it mm -hmm. so that the future generation can explore out of these materials that we are dealing with. So this is Pelsras, undiluted. We're going to drive through it, and from there we're going to go to Ocean View. We're going to chill in Ocean View for a second, talk to people from there, and we'll see what to do after that. All right. Bless up everybody. Like, subscribe, African Tigress. Boom. I'm going to go left here because we are headed to Ocean View. So we just came from the back of Belstras and we're going up towards Ocean View in J Bay. Uh -huh. If you have never explored, you got to explore. Don't put any barrier in your travel. If you have a chance, do it. For those that want properties, that want to move to J Bay, good place to be at. Well, this looks very different from the place where we slept. Yeah. Rolala Mandela. Rolin Chasha. Rolin Chasha Mandela. Rolin Chasha. Rolin Chasha Mandela. So if you're a Bantu speaking person, you can speak closer easily. No. You need to, like the clicking. No, the clicking is not all Bantus. Um. So people that speak Shona can click. People that speak Ndebele can do it. Yes. Maybe if you speak Swahili, it may be difficult because yes. you use a lot of R's and Z's and stuff. No, we don't have X and Q and, uh, in yeah. Bantu languages. Right. Uh, wow. This is very different. Yeah. Very different compared to where we slept. You wouldn't believe such a place exists yeah. when there is like... When you're on that side where we were. Mm, exactly. Yeah. And the weather here. So to your right, changed. that road goes all the way back to where we came from, but then it's just like a straight road. So we came through from the other side. Okay. And in front of us, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Ocean View. Umzanzi Way. In Jeffreys Bay, South Africa. Umzanzi Way So way. this is Ocean View and I'm going to just drive a little bit slow. This is where it starts. These are local taxis obviously and these taxis I think they go to Port Elizabeth etc. And uh, yeah, you can see to your left, these are the houses here. So it's also mixed. The blacks are here, the coloreds are here but 
the majority in Ocean View, they are black people. Also people, Zulu, Sutu, you may never know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But everybody's here. Um, Yo, it's... Just, just like, your window must go up a little bit. Yeah, see my camera has taken the wind, the, ah. the showers. Okay. So now people, we are in Ocean View. Jeffrey's Bay. And I don't know whom we're going to talk to, but whom do you want to talk to? Whom do you want to start with? Anyone. Anyone. Uh, people call here. I don't know who's, who's not shy to be on camera. But also, I'm not going to be rained on. That's the problem. <laughs> so, do you want us just to do a drive here yeah. and then we. It's okay, we can just do a drive because now what can I do? Okay. With this rain and me dressed like. That? That going it to the like beach. you are going to the beach, but I was at the beach and it, and it was wasn't hot. raining, you yeah. Know? It was hot and sunny yeah. and beautiful, you know. All of a sudden, the weather just changes, yeah. Mm. So, this is Zuelinzima Vavi and Griffiths and Kayenge Street in Ocean View. You can see a bit of some service delivery going on, which is good for the community. At yeah. least the health is being taken care of, you know, refuse collectors everywhere. Oh, that's great. So, some people be like, no, there's nothing that happens, but we can see it. It's happening here. At yeah. least, you know, in some other countries, you don't see this. We ain't talking of any country anyway, but we're just saying. So, congrats and bless up to whoever's doing that. It's good for the community. And we hopefully, one, we hope that one day things will get better for, you know, everybody in the townships and life needs to be upgraded for the local people. And it has to be fair you know, for all the people on this continent. So big ups to the guys that are taking refuge. Refuse, look at that. I think there used to be like a massive dump here. Yeah. Fantastic. So it's unfortunate people look like they are People are indoors, indoors eh? because, because it's raining, yeah. so we can't. There pretty much isn't any, just a few kids on the road. Yeah. I'm not sure if this is still Ocean View or not, but this is what's here. Uh, um. Wow. So yes, people, we are in uh, Ocean View, Jeffreys Bay, and we're just doing a bit of some drive around, drive around in the area to see and know Jeffreys Bay. Yep. These humps are high. The bumps. Yeah. Oh, kettle. Huh? Can you see those cows there? Kettle. Yeah, cows. Called kettle. Kettle cows. Kettle. Kettle is K E double T L E. No, that's that's a kettle for cooking, for like making tea and stuff. It's C A T T L E. Kettle. Kettle. Some they say cows. Cows. Some say kettles. Kettle, not kettles. Kettle. Whatever, man. And then K E T T L E. That's like something that you use to make your coffee or need some water or something. Yep. C place. And C place is not a township. It's uh, less than a kilometer road. away. <laughs> it's yeah. like 500 meters away also, 800 meters, even less than that. And then from there, we in, are... In the suburbs. <laughs> <laughs> nice oh, school. Man. Yeah, this school is nice. It looks, yeah. looks super cool. What's the name of this school? I don't know. Oh, Jeffreys Bay High School. Oh, nice. Okay. Okay, so... Uh, wait. Are we, we can... lost? No, I wanted to see if we can see an area of view of this area just to show no we can't see it okay can't fine see. we're gonna go to see place we saw already we just left the township and yeah it's not big yeah. so we were in Pelstras and Ocean View Ocean View now in sea place now we are in sea place um okay so you can see now the houses are bigger nicer nicer and the communities are different well maintained yards yeah, bigger places. 
money all over the place. <laughs> so you can see an aerial view of uh, the township on yeah. your right. That's a uh, sea place. Yeah. And obviously this is the industrial part of Jeffreys Bay. Uh, there's somewhere I can stop just down here just to get in more like an aerial view of everything and also the water in front of us. So this is how amazing Jeffreys Bay is structured. It's, it's a good community. It has got anything that you want. Criminals if, beware. Yeah, criminals beware. beware. You'll be messed up. If you mess up, someone will violate you if you do that. So I'm going to do a little turn here into the small industrial area and then we go back into the city and then from there we're out of J-Bay people. So you see that house there? Yeah. That first house? Yeah. It used to be called the security house. Uh -huh. uh, there used to be police that stayed at that house. It was popular. Everybody in Jeffreys Bay knows about the security house. Uh -huh. uh, yeah. That's where people would get security. Suppose they needed security, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just saying. So this is the industrial part of J-Bay. Uh. And just a few meters from the industrial area, this street, there is Pearl Trust behind. And also there's uh, an informal settlement just behind this area. Shorty. Yay. Yep. Jeffrey's Bay. Mm -hmm. Into? Humans drop. No. <laughs> say it again. Humans drop. No. But it's hard, it's hard to say, you, like, when you read it first. Face me. Like, for The camera is facing somewhere. I want to say something. It's humans okay. drop. Or yeah. humans drop in, in Afrikaans, but that's humans drop. Yeah, but. Not drop. Yeah, it's, I know that. The thing There's no is, human who's dropping anywhere here. It's <laughs> humans drop. Yeah, like for someone, the first time you see it, the first impression you it's see like it, humans drop. you read it as humans drop before you see drop. Wait, we're going to see a placard or a board saying humans drop? It's coming up now? Yeah. And you tell me what you think. No, the first thing I would love to see. No, it's not. So this goes to Paradise Beach. We would have gone further down, but then because of our timing and yeah. stuff, we can't and really go to Cape St. Francis. Here. Yeah, we can't really go to Cape St. Francis and Aston Bay and stuff, but we would have done that, but because of our timing and also we're still en route to uh, going up north, we're going to have to fetch uh, Judith, Judith from Titicama. From Titicama, then we proceed again to Lesotho or towards Lesotho via the Eastern Cape. Yep. So we're going to go to the Eastern Cape. All the closer people, all the closer people, big up, we're coming to you. We'll see you soon. Prepare some food for us, African cuisine in the chicken Eastern Cape. Chicken feet and chicken no, feet. No, we want something they cook. It's not. Uh, someone told me I need. I must try chicken feet. Oh really? In South Africa, yeah. Oh nice. Like okay, they cool. eat chicken feet. I would love to try that. I'm yeah. happy. I'm happy to be away from you know the cities and the stuff. City. We want to go like into the village. So now I'm happy to be in a place where I can experience like local cuisine. I wish like, there'd be like a hotel like in the Eastern Cape yeah, or something for the local people, yeah, you know, yeah. owned just by the local small, people. Just a small, not nothing fancy, you know. Yeah. yeah. So now we're gonna be in uh, Human's Dope just now. Okay, we are in Human's Dope. Yeah. Uh, Eastern Cape. Easy, it's so quite easy to read this place as humans drop. Right. Because especially when you're not used to... Exactly. So, as we were saying, we're going to the board that is written... Human's, human's dorp. dorp. And I take a photo I'm going to speak here. like an Afrikaans person. I'm in human's dorp. So, as you can see, people, this is the slight area of view of... Yeah. The nice chilled area named Human's Dorp. So now you can see it's Human's Dorp, not Drop. <laughs> so, what do you think about the air here? Is it different from where we came from? Uh, there's some smell that I don't like. And which one? There's a certain smell. Which one is that? I don't know. <laughs> there's Human Drop. No, it's, it's farms. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Oh, it's farm. 
It's farms, yeah. Oh, it's because of the farming. Yeah, it's like... So it's there's like a lot cow, of, uh, you know... Yeah, like cow fertilizer. Or exactly. Like grow. Yeah, that's what I'm telling you. I thought it's humans drop. All right, so we're going to go in and then we'll see what's up in humans drop in the city. And then from there, we're going to go fetch... Uh, Judith. Judith, and then we proceed to, to our next stop that we don't know where we're going to end up right. today. Okay, guys, I think we are getting to the center of uh, Ivan's Drop. I'm not really sure because we also knew here. We don't really know, but yeah. Uh, should we drive in here or should we proceed? What do you think? Uh, let's mm. proceed. Okay, people. Uh, oh, look at that building. Yeah. So it seems like it has been closed and it seems like there's Danger, no way for us to see, stop there. Yeah. no entry. We'll have stopped maybe perhaps and checked it out. I wonder what this building is. So if anybody knows what this building is, please let us know. Let us know like what this building really is because we have no idea what this is. Yeah. But this looks super cool. It looked like it was interesting. It looks like it just used, used to be a hotel or something. Probably. Why did they close it? Maybe it collapsed or burned something, you know. Can I stop? You're not allowed to get in. <sighs> So guys, we are going back to the freeway or the highway, whatever you call it. To Titikama. And we're going to go to Titikama, fetch our other half, and then we proceed. Our other third. Mm. We are three, so it's third, third, third. So it's part of us, our yeah. other part. So we'll see you soon. Company, we got company on the road. What if it runs mad and starts <laughs> charging towards us? Yeah. Yo, this is interesting. So Judy is here. Uh, finally, finally. <laughs> finally. <Go there. laughs> hey, I'm in a truck. I'm like, I'm like, okay, the guess we left you now. <laughs> I'm like, which truck are you? In? I'm glad okay, she let's called. Go out. Let's go. Out. Mm, no, we can't. We can. going. So we got her finally. We found you, guys. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank we appreciate you. it for sure. <laughs> ah, we were about to freak out at you. Like, where are you going? Why? We thought, we we thought maybe going to, to a different saying... gate or something. No, I know where. We're going. <laughs> yeah. Nice, nice. How was it? Good. Fantastic. How was the truck ride? How was the truck ride though? Look at this. Awesome. So finally, Judith is here. She got a lift in the truck. Hi there. How was, how was Titikama? Very good. Oh, <laughs> I'll show Hello. you. Hello. Uh, uh, I, 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 I did cliff diving. Wow. wow. Nice. Uh, like uh, not diving, jumping. Oh, cliff jumping. Wow. Uh -huh. And I have footage. Into water. Yes. I don't do wow, some games. That's fantastic. Some games I don't play. I don't jump over cliffs. Is there a rope holding you when you're jumping? No. No, thank you. Wow. <laughs> it's just six meters. Would you do that? Would you jump six meters into water? No, I wouldn't. Thank you. Six meters. Look at these people. So we have some food here. Yo. He has gone to skate and Judith is in the forest eating. So we're going to have our breakfast or brunch right here. Let's go. Branch in the forest in Titikama. You need to come and close this. Hey, eh? what? Carry the water. Ooh. Carry the water. Eh? And come, we eat this in the, in the forest. Okay, and there we go. Or should I lock the car? Lock the car, yeah. All right, cool. Lock the car and carry the water. Oh, there's water. Yeah, there's water out there. Bring the water. Breaking for a meal. Oh, this place is so peaceful. Beware of snakes. Mm, I saw one yesterday. You saw a snake? Yeah, I almost slept. Whoa! Where, where you slept? In your room. That's why you slept. So there was a 
a snake in the cabin where you slept. Mm. Close to it. On the path. Oh, shoot. I just started walking. And you saw it. And the first thing I saw was a snake. And then I was like, this is when I shared the live location with you. Oh! So like, oh! <laughs> <laughs> this is just the beginning. <laughs> Oh, you shared the location. I was like, okay, we already know you're in Titicama, but why is she sending location? <laughs> you didn't even mention. Where's the water? You are to carry the water, man. This man. My bed. My bed. I'm good. Show me your eyes and tell me you're good. I'm good. Oh, you can't see my eyes. I'm good. We got a nice place. So, we're having nachos from JB in Titicama. Mm hmm. Overly done, but still good. <laughs> what, what's wrong? He broke the bag. No, I didn't break it. There's no glue on it now. Oh, no, sorry. Oh, from the tree. Nice. Gentlemen, we're eating. Nachos. You see that you have glue here in South Africa, then we freeze things. Oh, the glue? The glue. The glue. The glue. Yeah. So this is the original glue that is created by companies or what? No. Natural glue. Yes. Gonna so it still works. Yeah, this one is from trees. How do I remove it? You'll wipe oh, it. Uh, what water? Water. Hot water. Oh, hot water. So you guys, you come and work here, and then you go maybe somewhere where you stay. No, we stay in the location. Oh, there's a location here. Look at the total garage. You know the total garage. No, which one? The the total garage on the freeway. I saw it. Yes. It's a nice. Also, oh, it's it's Tom Rivier. It's not Storms River. Because we, we call it Storms River. Storms River. So it's Storms Rivier. Storms, Storms Rivier. Storms Rivier. Would you help me wash my hand, please, mm -hmm. with the water? Initially, I thought there was like some properties here or something. Mm. No, 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 no. This is nature. Oh, this is just nature? Yes, please. Oh, okay. Soon it will be property. What? Sometimes the people come in. my here. I, mm. I don't, I don't uh, pollute. I don't pollute. Trust me. The people do, Nothing do what? Looks right. like it's raining. Now we appreciate it, man. You are doing a good job. This is, this is fantastic. Yeah. Because these places, they're not everywhere in the world. By the way. Okay, so leaving Titikama with Ash and Judy. After our lunch, our brunch break, yeah, brunch break. After picnic. our brunch break, picnic in the food, in the forest, it's in the bush, in the forest, in the forest. Off we go. And the weather has changed. Just look at how it is now it's super cold and foggy i don't even know if this is rain because it doesn't look like real it's rain foggy, yeah. yeah it's foggy mist. so yeah it's lots of mist and there is a sign for cows ahead sikoi sikoi remember we saw cows somewhere here yeah we met cows so somewhere i think we can just reduce our speed and then yeah because when you're coming we met cows here and they were chilling on the road Yes, so I think this area is known for cows on the road. They don't feel the cold? Nah, the kettle? Yeah, in 10 kilometers. Wow. Interesting how the weather changes here, yeah, like so. from time to time. Yeah. And we are now. Yeah, we are now in Port Elizabeth and you see Port Elizabeth, East London. This is Port Elizabeth. You see the weather has just changed. This place is warmer than where we just left. Yeah. Wow. Port Elizabeth. Interesting. But I'm told Port Elizabeth has a new name that starts with letter Q that I cannot pronounce. So in case you know how to pronounce that name, K, Port Elizabeth is no longer called Port Elizabeth. Yeah, there's an 
it starts with letter Q. Let me let me just look at it. Yeah, it's a difficult one to read. K K K something. Yeah, ha 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 ha. No, that's Dutch. It's not Dutch. It's not Dutch. <laughs> it's a local language. So let me see if I'm able to read the name to get the name. But yeah, just giving you a glimpse of what Port Elizabeth looks like. But the signs still read Port Elizabeth, so I think Ke Ke Berha. No, De Beha. De, De Beha. Something like that. De Beha. I'm not really sure. Q G no G Q E B. Okay, this is the name of Port Elizabeth, the current name of Port Elizabeth. If you can read it, let me know. Berla. Hey, Ke Ke Berha. I can't pronounce it, but if you can pronounce it, well and good. This is one of the major cities in South Africa, right? Yes. It has got a different vibe. You can even see they've written Port Elizabeth City. They've not changed the signs to read the new name yet. Yeah. Port Elizabeth. Port Elizabeth. Just face it. Huh? Tomorrow, Mama. I don't no, know. She's selling some stuff. She's selling as well. yeah, she's selling no, she's selling she's bags. That thing too hard eh, outside because this city is there for people that are Sorry? It's no longer like Cape Town, so don't like put your stuff outside that much. Okay, I'm watching. Yeah. I'm okay, watching. Put uh, the cable around your hand. No, it's still, it's still good. We're still good up to this point. Okay. I'm watching the side mirrors. Okay. I could be blue, I could be brown, I could be violet. Wow, I didn't know Port Elizabeth was this big. I'll just call it yeah. Port Elizabeth. I hope no one gets offended because yeah, I can't pronounce the other name. It's not as so. huge as uh, Skip Town. But it's a nice city. So it's on a different vibe. A different weather pattern as well. And it's always windy in, in, in Port Elizabeth. Oh, it's only more than Cape Town? Yes. So, in case you've never seen or you've heard of Port Elizabeth, so I'm just gonna show you. This is what Port Elizabeth. Kebelha looks like in 2021. Don't laugh at my pronunciation of the new name for Port Elizabeth. That's that's my best trial. G Q K G K G N Kebelha. It's Kosa. It's a Kosa name for the Bakens River. Okay. Which flows through the river, through the city. Okay, so it's the Kosa name for the Barkons River. Beha. 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 It's a beautiful city so far. I like what I see. It's big, relaxed, laid. Okay, a little bit laid back compared to Cape Town. Yeah. Yeah, true that. True that. It's a big city. I think if you live here, you basically have everything you need. You don't have to travel to other cities, right? Yeah, it's it's like a big city, you know. It's, it's a big city. Yeah, it it's, has not, it's the... not a small town. This is a city. So, you know, for something to be a yeah. city, everything will be there. There's also a port in front of us, oh. just by the beach. Yeah. I just wonder in terms of the... Maybe it's among the top 10 most biggest cities in South Africa. Yeah, it is. It is. Among the top Remember, 10 there's biggest. Durban, there's Johannesburg, there's Port Elizabeth, and then ah. comes 
small Plettenberg, small George. No, those are small. Yeah, so this Port is Port Elizabeth big is big. Oh, it's an ancient building, an ancient church or something. Yeah. Be still and know that I am God. No, I am God. <laughs> It's a nice church. Yeah, it's it goes very well with the dead tree. With the dead tree? Yeah. <laughs> That's the same color. <laughs> yeah, it's nice and how they built around the, the trees. Not just yeah, cut it's not them. cut them. Another ancient church over here. I wonder why there were so many churches like most of the ancient it's buildings you get to see all the buildings yeah no most of there. the buildings you get to see they are churches so this is port this elizabeth. elizabeth cbd i feel like this place is so historic eh? yeah the all there's the buildings of, are ancient yeah there's 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 a lot of older buildings and port there, there's a history that i may not know of i wish someone who's from this city who understands the demographics of the city and who understands the culture of the city and how it was brought about to become a germ like this because of course the Look buildings are old but buildings. it's it's amazing and it's properly planned yeah yeah wow Look at that. some nice artwork old texas put on the wall wow, wow this is nice damn wow finally we are in Port Elizabeth yeah. and I just met somebody <laughs> I didn't know I had fans in Port Elizabeth if you watch me from Port Elizabeth I mean much love yeah, so I'm meeting somebody here yeah nice meeting you what's your name Bali Bali yes where are you from um from like I'm from Cook House oh here in Port yes. Elizabeth yeah in Port Elizabeth I stay here oh oh okay nice meeting you in Bali thank you Bali means far <laughs> no, what it does means it? flower. Yeah, it means flower. Flower. Oh, okay. In Kiswahili, it means far. Like far, somewhere far. Oh, I see. That's <laughs> a huge <laughs> <laughs> Alright, nice meeting you in Bali. Kabeha. Huh? Kabeha. Oh, you lost it. I can't say it. Kabeha. Kabeha. Okay. 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 <laughs> I can't say it. Uh. <laughs> I can't say it. It's nice yeah, meeting you. Uh, thank you. Nice, nice to see meeting you. Too. Do you mind showing us around, maybe? I know I don't. Uh huh. It's not a good area to walk uh, around with. No, I don't camera. think so. We won't even go far. Watch my videos before I came to this place. is beautiful. What's this area? Central. It's called Central. Mm -hmm. This whole area is called Central. Oh, Bali. This place was established in 1845. Can you see this? <laughs> 1845. Yeah, 1845. This building, yeah. 1845, yeah. Newspaper house. With Buena. Like is this operational? And yes, yes. Oh, okay. I don't know. Okay. Uh, where are we going? Summer Street. Yeah. Okay. When I tell us more about Cape Town, South Africa, not I Cape mean, Town. <laughs> <laughs> tell us more about Port Elizabeth. Oh, I don't know a lot about Port Elizabeth, but as far as I stayed here, mm -hmm. it has a lot of fun in it. Okay. <laughs> and How many you have to decide whether you want fun or you want to make money. It has a lot of money as well. Oh, so oh, there's okay. a lot of money to be made here. Yeah, you can make money here, but it depends uh -huh. on your brains. Is this the main port? Yeah. Oh, okay. The port of Port Elizabeth. <laughs> Beha. <laughs> ah, ah, the Beha. 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 <laughs> Beha. <laughs> I'll just say one. Beha. Beha. To beha. Eha. South Africa. It's not easy to say. Some vowels don't exist. Some, you know, alphabets don't exist. Yeah, that's true.
Oh, so, so where we're going there is like a, what kind of uh, people stay there or is it the, <laughs> the same or it's a mixed culture or it's a mixed community? Most or? white because it's like and then it's the apartment for students. Oh okay. Yeah, okay. Okay. But mostly white because then now most it's expensive. Oh it's and, expensive. Uh, a lot of whites. Let me say, but you can get blacks though. First money. There oh, are okay, blacks there. Okay. Yeah, they are. So. Oh, so it's not a more like a township in this area. Mm, yeah, you can say. Okay, okay. And then we have restaurants here. Uh, and stuff. Oh, so this is more like the what uh, can I say, the, the prime area of the city of all the the rich parts of the city, perhaps? Yeah, let's say. Okay, okay, okay. Been doing it for quite a while. A lot of people, it's like a walking area. Oh, nice. Okay. Yeah, uh, a quiet, uh, yeah, it is safe. Okay, cool. I think most of the places around here are safe. I think this is the safest place in Port Elizabeth. Oh, okay. I this, can say. This area? Around yeah. this area, you mean? Yeah, I can say. What's the name of this area? Because even people are walking at Summer night. Spring. Oh, people walk oh, at night. Summer yeah, spring. couples walk at night here, it's beautiful. Okay. So this is all summer strange. Yeah, this is all summer strange. So it's here or we're going straight down? We're going straight down. Okay. We can even choose a new area guys though. <laughs> you are trying to know the place though. Okay. And if you are trying to know the place, you can even choose an area. I can tell you if it's safe or... Yeah. If because it's... You can take us anywhere you want. You can to the, even to, to the yeah. Cairo, you can go anywhere to the township. <laughs> it's not it's safe, safe in the township. <laughs> not safe no <laughs> someone got into my flat when i was staying alone while i was there inside in the no look shin wow and yeah they took oh, stuff safe. yeah they took my laptop and go jeez that's crazy <laughs> very much crazy that's crazy wow instead of being scared i was like well, i'm inside don't you see me <laughs> Like, um, yeah. <laughs> wow. But is it, is it, is it like the whole community has got criminals or it's just certain elements in a community that would be okay, but then, oh. It, it's just some of the places. Or some of the places have got a lot of crime. Mm, yeah, I guess. Wait, say. so do you mean someone got to rob your house when you are inside the house? Yeah. And you are like, don't you see me? But they didn't care that they saw you. No. They wanted what they wanted. And I can't come closer to someone. Wow. You're just <laughs> coming to rob me while I'm there. And I was not yeah. even alone. Uh, the, my friend was sleeping over that night. And they didn't even bother. They hey, robbed you hey. and left. Wow, that's, that's, scary. that's scary, you know? Yeah, that's, that's very scary. much scary. Wow. What's the name of the area? Um, mm, France. Kwazakel. What's called Kwazakel? Kwazakel. Kwazakel is like, yo, it's like a location. It's okay. a township and then, here. And then, and then I think. Location of the township. Oh, oh okay. Yeah. And like, uh, it's like it's part of the location, and then we have us with demos with different streets, and then we have Kwazakel and have others with different streets. So it's like that. I think uh, East Street some was Pamalat Street. I was staying in Pamalat Street that time. All right. All right. So, this place kind of looks France. like Sea Point. Yeah, I can see a bit of some Cape Townian view. You know, yeah, Cape Town, yeah when you look area. at the buildings and the sea here mm -hmm. and the We're palm trees. Mm, yes. Okay. So, you reckon it's all super cool out here and no drama or nothing whatsoever? No drama. <laughs> That's it. Port Elizabeth. Elizabeth. It's a beautiful so, place. Yeah, I know, right? I love this city. Me too. Looks good. Looks good. Looks like something somewhere I can comfortably live. Good thing it has a beach. <laughs> yeah, let me know yeah. about your city. Tell me, tell us more about your but city. I don't like the weather though. It's changing four times a day. Like, uh, you can say four times or 
It's everywhere. Everywhere in South Africa, ah, people not have everywhere. Horses. Where I'm from, it's like if it's hot, it's hot. Okay, you're gonna burn in ten black. Can't finish. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like that. You're gonna just turn black. <laughs> but you know, uh, in Cape Town, it's the same. You like, I would be dressed like this. Less than a minute later, the weather has changed. Then I change into something mm, warm. Wanna, we go that way. Wanna go this side? Whichever way. That's okay. But this side. Okay, let's just. So in Cape Town, I would be dressed warm. Then it changes cold, and then I change to warm, and then it changes to something. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Hi. How are you? <laughs> Great. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> I um, never went in Cape Town. Is the I water want to hot? To Cape Town. <laughs> is it hot? You want is to it try? warm? No, let's try. <sighs> warm. I don't think so. And I no, hate cold some water. Fishing. Yeah. Which is the easiest way? I don't know. There must be a first place you see. Welcome to the beach. Yeah, every time you come here. In Kabeha. In, in Kabeha. In, in Kabeha. <laughs> uh, uh, my shoes are getting. I'm carrying all the dust now, but that's okay. I wanna feel the water here to just see how different it is from the water in Cape Town. Oh, yeah, this feels nice. Whew, cooling our feet in the Indian Ocean. <laughs> cooling in our feet in the Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> No, these are very light waves. No, <laughs> this was nice, guys. Thank you. You. Beha. Oh, I saw the galogu. Where are we at? Beha. Right? Yeah. The beach yeah, yeah. in nice. Beha. Don't go far. Yeah. It's nice. It's nice. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Why are you afraid of water? I don't know. Okay, let's see. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I'm running away from you now. now. <laughs> Woo -hoo -hoo! This is the best feeling ever. I love it. At least we live in this city. What? Yay! You live in this city. Do you know this feeling? <laughs> you live in this city. You have the leisure and the pleasure of experiencing this every day. Uh, well, who? I love that. <laughs> <laughs> Good people, welcome to Beha. But nice meeting you. It's nice meeting you too. Because I never researched that, but oh, you don't know why the name was changed. I don't know why. We, and we what does? I would rather ask you because you're South African, you're not. Ah, so what does the name Beha 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 mean? means? It feels it feels like someone's same name. Surname. Yeah. Uh huh. So I may, maybe there was someone who was Kabeha who did something. I don't know. So it's in relation to somebody's name. I don't know. I think so. Yep. And the journey never stops. We just met Bali. And Bali, come here. Yeah. yeah. We're with her, and yeah. And I took some selfies and memories. Some of y'all are saying there's no South Africans here that want to be with us. Look at it. She's with us. Look at that. Look at this girl. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. Look at us. Look at us. We're wild and crazy. You can walk back, eh? Okay, cool. Yeah. I didn't carry my phone, so it's okay. 
I wanted to take some photos for ID. You planted my indoor plants, you put this. Oh, I see now. I see. Or in your compound. Okay. So how Forget much? it. The thing is, my shoes are ruined. <laughs> I've already given it. <laughs> ah! <laughs> <laughs> I saw it. I saw it. I saw it. No, you just follow us. Boardwalk is the nicest place ever, but I don't know what time they are closing. Oh. I really don't know if they are closing even. Oh. I hope you subscribe to my channel. Did you? Yeah. Did you subscribe? Yes, I did. Did you turn the notifications on? Yes. Did you? I did. Okay. Let me just see that. <laughs> You're just traveling. You're doing it them for just traveling, showing people around. Yeah, because I love traveling. It's not easy, but well, it is what it is. <laughs> Thank you. I'm tired, guys. Tired. How yeah. do I wash my hands, my legs? Uh, There's water in the. Yeah. So I don't wanna mess the car. You see, I just wash my, I just wash my feet. Yeah, but I don't wanna do wear because mess the, the car. Well, so no. we need a bag to put. <laughs> wow, what a time in Port Elizabeth. So we're now leaving Port Elizabeth, this very beautiful ancient city. It looks ancient. I'm saying so because I see lots of ancient buildings. And like now you can see them from a bird's eye view now. Yeah. <laughs> I'm saying not a bird's eye view, but from another from a different higher angle. View. Yeah. From the freeway side. Yes. So, this is the route. But where are we going to? Uh, we're going to Lesotho. So, we're going to go through Kredok and all those small towns, Cookhouse, ETC. Uh -huh. uh, we'll let you know soon where we are. Okay, so that simply means we're going to be off the garden route. We're already off the garden route. We're already off the garden yes. route. Yes. If we were to go up uh, the garden route, I mean up into, it would have been now the wilderness. And then we would have ended up in East London. In East London, and then we would have gone maybe to Durban or something. Okay, right. so Port Elizabeth, now we're going interior, so no more beaches. Look at that stadium, fantastic stadium. Oh, that's a stadium? That's a stadium. Oh, great. But there's also a way from Durban, right? Or East London to go in. There is a way, yes, but it's too far. It's too far? Yeah. Uh, it's mountains there. Mm, I've never been there. I wouldn't want to know. All I know is it's like a distance away. It's too far, way too far. Ah, okay. Yeah. Yeah, so this is the route we're going to. Mountain Road, 650 meters or whatever. In Port Elizabeth. There's a train station to that side. Yeah. Train station. We're on the freeway right now. Yes. We're probably gonna get to. We're going to probably try and see if we can get a place to sleep in Credoc. So if we don't get a place to sleep in Credoc, we'll figure out. Right. But Port Elizabeth is big. It's a big modern city. Look at the roads. I can't see the stadium anymore. But you can see they have amazing facilities, amenities, the roads are right. great. Exactly. Well, it's a properly set up city. Look how nice it is. Yeah, and the water this next is to the you. ocean. Yeah. Can you see that we are actually driving on the edge of Africa? <laughs> like Port Elizabeth is like south. The ma the, ma the, the the map of Africa. Like the ocean is just by our right our right. right. Exactly. Yeah, so we're basically driving on the edge of Africa. Are we going to Cape Town? Nope, we're going straight. But you are on N2. Yes, that's where we're going towards N2. This is not N2. But this N2 says Cape Town. N2, Cape Town, you take the next off-ramp. 
into Grahamstown, you take the next one. So if I was to go to Cape Town, I was gonna turn left here. Okay. Right. So Cape if Town. we had to go towards where we're going, we turn, we took, we take this route. Okay. So that we can connect to N2, but this is not N2. We are now getting into the, is this called the hinterland? Inside the we're getting, we're getting inland. Inland. So we're getting calling inland it hinterland from the wrong. Hinterland? Yeah, hinterland means inland. I don't know. I, ah, I, mean, that's what I, I think. I wasn't Europe. born speaking English. I had to learn okay. English in school. Yeah, it's okay. The backland, like. So if I learn the language in school, I just know inland. So we're getting yeah. inland. Yeah, of South uh, Africa. Now we're, we're miss, away from the beach and the Obviously, fields. we're going to miss the, the fresh air, the, beach the sea breeze. Fields. But for now, we're still good. But then the moment we go up the mountain, I know the wind will be gone. All the right. sea breeze will be gone. We'll be inside of nature. And we can't wait to meet people that are inside of those areas. In the hinterland, who are not very tourist, because the garden route is mostly tourists. Come on, this. The garden route is mostly tourists, and most of the cities oh, we've yeah. covered so far. So now, hopefully, we're gonna have like a real local experience in South Africa. Are you excited? Yeah. <laughs> Are you excited? Yeah, I'm good. I'm okay. Great. Let's go. Beautiful. This is very beautiful and straight. Nice road. Green. Yeah, what more would you ask for? What's beautiful. behind the mountain, Ashby? So behind the mountain, that's let's say like here, if, if we are to stand outside, you could feel the cool breeze of like the sea water, the, like the smell of the ocean. The moment you get inland, it's gone. It's gone. So, Ge so geographically, if you go higher up a mountain, then the water that is this side is this side. That side is a different pattern. So is it cold? Mm, it can get cold, yes, obviously. Uh -huh. I'm sure as we reach uh, the Sutu area, Bloemfontein, you can start feeling the cold. Mm. Coldsburg area, it's very cold as well. Okay. Yeah. That's a super cold area. So don't worry. If you want to feel the cold, you're going to feel it soon. <laughs> no, I don't want to feel the cold. Nah, you will. You will. Soon. It's okay. You, will, you knew it. You knew it. So no, you, I didn't know it. If you I have your skimpy you know outfits, if you are in your skimpy outfits. Like this. That's going to be a problem. No, I'll just pull a tight up. <laughs> ah, okay. <laughs> Get a tight to we'll, keep we'll, myself we'll warm. Because Jeffrey's Bay was very warm. Yeah, Jeffrey's Bay is warm. It was warm, right? Yeah. Yes. So now we're going up the mountain. We're going to be at the top of the mountain in the mist. We're going to park there, chill. We're going to be up on that mist. We're going up the mountain and then we're going to go down this mountain. Olifant's Cop Pass. That's the name. Uh, Olifant's Cop Only Pass. Fans Cop. Only Fans. Oh, it's Only Fans it's Cop. Only it's Fans not. Cop. It's only not. Fans Cop. <laughs> only Fans Cop, not Only Fans. It's Only Fans She's Cop. She's saying Only Fans. It's not Only Fans <laughs> Cop. It's Only Fans Cop. It means elephant heads. So oh, she's saying it means heads. what? Elephant, elephant head. Elephant head. Yeah. Elephant cop. So maybe there's one elephant here. There's a place called Ado Elephant uh, Park yeah. in this area. So there's elephant. So it's just in this far area. on your far left, but then a few kilometers behind us. That's where that place is. You know, I just appreciate the quality of the roads that are here. Ding. <laughs> you know. Okay, guys, we are on top of. Uh, Ah, I need to I need, I need to wear my sweater. It's, it's flipping cold. Yeah. Okay. We were so just coming from the heat and now we're in the cold. So and now you can see even see the mist moving. Jeepers, we are at the top of OnlyFans. OnlyFans. Sorry, I'm gonna correct myself. Olifant Cop. Only Pass. <laughs> I think it's called Olifant Cop Pass. As okay, you come, hold as, this for me, please. Okay, wear that. Wait, so as you come out so of So as you come out of uh, Port Elizabeth, yeah. you pass through that place. Olifant Cop. Oh, yay. Oh, yay. Yay. You know one thing? Mm, my lighter. What the fuck is my lighter? So, shortly after leaving Port Elizabeth, we are at this place. Oh, I need to do this. Yeah. Vehicles are in high speed here, so it's better to just run across the road. And so, ah, one thing these adventures have taught me is to be patient. 
Personally, if I was alone, I would not okay, really okay, stop okay. at this time of the night in a highway like this. Because what's the time? I think it's about 7 p.m. Uh, the time? Yeah, the time is 7. Yeah, this is 7 o'clock. And if on I was top alone, only fans cop. Only fans cop. Yeah, not only fans. Only. We didn't say only, only fans. <laughs> only only fans, fans cop. Fans only. Fans, fans only. Fans only. Okay, so fans yeah. Only. If I was here alone, I would not stop so, on such a highway alone. As you can see. So ladies, we are they going are down a there. Walking break. Yeah. And people should stop littering here. So in a Jamaica, them say me in a spliff break. Okay. You see me? So me there in a spliff break. As they say in the Caribbean. Okay, for me I'm here to just view and watch and just enjoy the view. And people stop should stop littering here. Shit. Yeah, people must uh, wow. I think I gotta address this. Uh, with all due respect, uh, Africa and the world at large, let's not dump. Yeah. Some other places, I mean, it, it won't make sense to see something like this. It's supposed to be scenic mm -hmm. and clean I mean, and beautiful. They've created even a place for you to park on the Not side. everybody yeah. who parks here is not from here, so they won't be happy if they see this. Let's just try to be it's clean as Africans. It's not even someone who's from here. Like, the just hygienically speaking, just, you yeah, gotta be on point. Stop you know what I'm saying? Like, this mm. is nonsense. Why so would you stop your car and then just come to litter here? Does it make sense? Like they've created all this nice side place for you, you know, to just come to... What the fuck? You say what? Someone cheated on the table? Yeah. This sucks, you know? Who does this? A monkey to cheat on the table? That's a crazy, creepy human being. Maybe a witch. You see, even the sign here says littering is prohibited. You see? These are fine, but I guess there's no one to implement it. Okay, so living only fans cop. Yeah. Only fans cop. I love that name. Only fans cop. See how misty it's become? Wow, so this place is very mountainous and very scenic. So we heading to Credence. Credoc. Credoc. We heading to Credoc. The sun is setting, so we're gonna be getting there late today. I'll try my best to show you as much as possible, cause personally I love adventures, and I know lots of people would enjoy to see such. You know, to just see what to experience and to just see this adventure through our lens. So in Tlokoi and Lobo. That's tent of the elephant. Lobo. <laughs> I know something little. Lobo is... So in Tlokoi, um, that's like the, the head, eh? Oh, head of the elephant. So in Shona, that's Msoro. I don't know. In, in Swahili, what do you say? Msoro? No, Msoro is not elephant. No, what's a head? Kichwa. Kichwa. But so Lobo Msoro, is Ndovo. Yes, you're right. But then in Tlokoi and Lobo. So that's more like... Head of a, 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 right. an elephant. Yeah. Exactly. That's more like that. Yeah, so... Yeah, it's getting dark and dark and darker, but the views are amazing, so I hope you're enjoying this scenic drive with us. Today is day four of our adventure, so probably we're going to get there in day five or day six, depending on how everything else goes, so let's go. The roads are great, I must appreciate that, like... We've not had bottles or bad roads so far, right? Yep. Yeah, I'm so grateful for that. Yeah, that's... that's so, we're getting into Credoc. Unfortunately, there's nothing much we could have shown you because it's very dark. But this is where we're going to spend the night. I'm so tired. You can't see me, probably. Maybe him. <laughs> You blend very well with the night. <laughs> yeah. No, it's okay. No, it's okay. We can't still see you. 
even with that oh yeah we can see now you now light. yeah so it's night so yeah guys we almost there we're gonna going. sleep at Credoc yep. for the end of day four i'm so tired like gosh i'll see you guys tomorrow but we're gonna try and see maybe i'll bring you along as we're trying to get food or something to eat before we can get to the airbnb we've booked I think you can see it from here. You see there? Oh, Time. yeah. I guess it's a nice view during the day uh -huh. approaching yep. the it's city. Uh, yeah, but you can't tell what kind of housing or whatever it is. Looks like a township there. Yeah, it looks like a township because you can see there's so not so there. many, ha not so much light. It yeah, looks like a big township. I don't know. We'll figure out tomorrow. That's a township there. Eh? Yeah. That's what it looks like. like. Good, eh? Same here. Yeah. No, I don't think. Can you, can you try to that part? We can't see anything tonight because yeah. it's dark, but it's a township. It is a township. But we've confirmed. Let no one come at us. We're just trying to decipher first on, based on, based on what we can see. First end information. So finally, we are in Credoc. Credoc. We in Credoc. Uh, yeah, tired as wait, hell. Wait, which province is this? Uh, it must Eastern? be the Free State. Eh? No, it's not Eastern. Oh. Is it, no, it, it must be Eastern Cape. I'm not Eastern sure. Eastern Cape. Of, uh, okay, Eastern or Free State. Wait, wait. Let, let's let's see. Let's see. Let's see where we are. Okay. Anyway, so we are here, tired as hell. Yeah, we're still in the Eastern Cape. Still in the we're Eastern Cape. We're still in Cape. the Eastern Cape. This is Credoc. As you can see, Eastern Cape Emergency Medical Services. That oh. ambulance there. Yeah. So yeah. So we're trying to get something, some food or something to eat and water bottle to refill water. Uh, so this is the five liters. They refill it with seven rent. Could you come help me refill the water? Only the five liter. Yeah, the five liter. We have some water here. Judy, has she left? Oh, okay. So, trying to get something to eat. Okay, I've refilled the bottle. Okay, cool. Um, so, I'm gonna ask uh, Ashley, Ashley if you want some anything on this. Okay. What do you think? Yeah, I think. Yeah, I think that's okay. I don't know either, you know. It's, it's hard to make a decision. Either. Yeah, I hate burgers and all that. I wish I could get real food, but. Sorry? I wish I could get real food. Yeah, but. something of this I'll just I don't have any option I'll just eat anything wherever I hate it yeah ask Ash what he wants and then that's it we'll pay for that yeah. so finally we are at our home for the night I'll show you in the morning. Open the door completely. Hey, just push. Okay, thank you. So our kitchen. And one of the rooms, which is gonna be my room here. I'll give you the view of the place in the morning. There's a bed there and then there's another room to that side. Good morning. So today's day five. I'm very tired. 
I didn't think it would take this long, but it's worth it. So I've been working here. I woke up a bit early to do some editing, you know. It's hard to travel beyond the road, edit, and produce regular content. And Ash is getting the car ready, as you can see. He's packing the bags. Hey, Judith. Good morning. Morning. Just enjoying the view. Enjoying the view. So, yeah, this is our kitchen. And let me check on Ash. Good morning. How was your night? Yeah. Look at So, like, I'm taking a mess out of my clothes every single day. A mess out of my stuff. Yo. Bye bye. Well, so this is the neighborhood where we slept. From. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay, so we got uh, kids from. Wait, before you do that, what's your name? My name. My name is Bradley. My name is Brendolin Jacobs. And yourself? My name is David Bester. <laughs> Hello. 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 As first time we buy it. As first time we buy it. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Do you have a coin or something? I have. Hola. Okay. Bye. 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 You wanna be actress? Yes. Go for it. <laughs> them, them trousers, they're so cool. Yeah, true. <laughs> they, they graduated. They say geslaagd because uh -huh. they spoke Afrikaans, uh -huh. and I understood what they were saying. What are they oh, saying? Okay. So they were saying, like between each other, you're lying, you're lying. So, <laughs> so you know. <laughs> yeah, Credoc, living Credoc now. Oof. It gets cooler whenever you get through like a tree or something. Yeah, it's Look very at that tree. hot. That's beautiful. That's jacaranda. This tree is colored. That's a jacaranda, yeah. Jacaranda. These ones are so many in Kenya. You never saw them when you're in Kenya. Even in Zimbabwe, they like. And Zimbabwe way. also, Bulawayo especially. But maybe the season I was there, maybe they weren't uh, like. Absolutely showing no flowers. damp. Uh, maybe. Damp is crude. Maybe they were dry like this one. Yeah, I think yeah. so because I didn't. Oh, I don't recall. We never saw this place. So I'm gonna just give you a glimpse of what Credoc looks like. Because we got here at night, we never managed to really record. So yeah, Credoc. You can see the terrain has changed. It's quite dry here. And of course, even the type of roads, they are not the ones we used to, the ones that we are used to. So this is Credoc, guys. It's like a dryland area. Yeah, it's dryland. And now we can't go to, on the same speeds that you are going on. We were used on. We were used to, eh? Yeah. Those high speeds. The Not Cape the Town high speeds, the garden route speeds. Oh, the garden route speeds. The nice cruising speeds. Yeah. Oh, I can't believe it's day five. Is it day five? Yeah, hey, it's day five. Since okay. Monday. Yeah, today's uh, Friday. Yeah. But we're we're fast, you know. Fast. Yeah, true. With go, all go, the go. stopovers. Yeah. Kiki was really surprised. Why? That we were already here. Oh. Yeah. She's done this garden route? Partly. Well, most people do it no, up look. to a certain point and go back. Why? <laughs> if you're using a bus or an old car, uh -huh. mm, 
the journey is going to be a little bit more tricky. The kids are carrying music. Yeah, they do that quite often. Yeah. yeah. Oh, look at those kids enjoying life. I'm a piano for life. So what's up? Are we going here? Are we going out or out where? Out of this town. You want me to navigate? No, I can navigate. Don't worry. Okay. We I'm asking. Have... She's still recording, so I was. We can just drive around a little bit to see the town, just randomly, so I can give people a glimpse of what Credo Credo looks, looks like. like. Uh, we need to get to that church as well. Oh yeah, to that church, yeah. yeah. So I think I will go left here yeah, at the next That's one. The church? You say what? Uh, I can turn left here. Yeah. Was it left or was it right? No, it was right. We want to start from that okay, side. Okay, cool. Since we want to do like a little short drive of this yeah, area. Show people Credoc, Credo mm. Street. Um, I don't know why the roads are bad though. Yeah. That has got nothing to do with us, but yeah, we are there. We're Just ensure there. you don't train your car. Yeah, exactly. So, Credoc. You come here to steal your job. Hmm. <laughs> nah, you don't do that. How do you steal a job? Okay, so we just bring a little bit of a straw and then we're gonna go back to some nice structures that we just saw in the area. We also wanted to do a, a township tour, but then we're not really sure why it is or sure that. if it's drivable or something because already because look at the potholes. The roads already they're a little bit more of an issue. Oh, this is, is this a one way or what? Oh no, no trucks must turn in here. Mm -hmm. There goes that church there. So probably this is maybe a traffic department or something. Yeah, how did you know? I can see people traffic standing section. there. Welcome to Cradock. I'm gonna turn right here. I think that's the best option. Yeah. Mm. Before we get ourselves in places, you know. That we don't know of. And the safety as well. So. Looks like there's plenty uh, old structures, yeah. Yeah, can look at this. The houses are cute. Yeah, but they're old. Yeah. You can tell, of course, they may be painted, but damn. Yeah, the quality the house, is old. Well. Yeah, the houses are old, big time. Credoc. Looks like it's a mixed race community. Eh? A lot yeah. of a lot of uh, colored people. Oh, mixed you call them people. Mixed race. I call them mixed race. <laughs> yeah, yeah um, colored people. Mixed race. Slash colored according to the South African lingua. Yeah. But we we're good with the mixed race uh, statement. You call them what they want to be called. Mm. What's this? I don't know. Looks like a an office. Uh, yeah, it looks like a like a government office or something. Yeah, it looks like a government office. Oh. And look at that. This is an old building. You see, it's called Dutch. Oh, this church here. Yeah. Oh, that's a church. Yeah. And I think we saw another one up there as well. That wasn't a church. Oh yeah, there are probably many. Mm. The Dutch are Christians. <laughs> and then she doubt she was she's doubting. No. You wanna close it open, open no. or close? Yeah. Okay, uh I would have turned right here, but it seems like there's construction ahead or something. Not really sure. No, we didn't. You want us to go up or you want us to go out? Whichever. 
at least have had a glimpse of what this is rural South Africa now for those ones who are saying yeah, nah, it's a small town it's not rural oh, it's Come on. it's not but it's still rural but it's a small town you know it's a farming area as you can see there's a lot of like okay then inland South Africa going on, yeah. like, that's what I mean it's not like rural village what I mean it's a town but it is in a town in rural South Africa ah okay I get it away from the capital cities the Bloemfonteins, Pretorias, Joburg, Cape Towns you know all right so Okay, Middleburg. Right. So I think this road is one that leads us to Middleburg. So we'll be coming out of this area anytime soon. Out of Credoc. Yeah, out of Credoc. Okay. Shrimp Park. There's a park there. The pounds. Looks quiet here. Yeah. yeah. The place is nice, the roads are bad, but the place is cool. Mm -hmm. I could comfortably live in a small city like this, personally. Yeah, I feel like it's a, it's a very nice town to live in. Especially you if you are someone who is yeah. into farming, you've got a farm. And you're never going you to know. get caught in traffic. Yeah, we hardly saw any traffic anyway. Yeah, so that's what I would want. Yeah. Goodbye, Credoc. See you later. See you in future, if we ever happen to come back this oh, way. Huh? Look at that. Yeah, that's it. Like an amazing rock. So my brother said that in Kimberley there's like the biggest um, Diamond. manhole. Huh? Okay, no, like I know. Like the mine, eh? Yeah. Yeah, oh, the, the biggest wall in the... Yeah. In the world. But you're not using Kimberley, are we going through Kimberley? It's far from Sorry? where we're going, Kim we're going right, Kimberley yeah, on the left. I know, I know. Yeah. And that's, that's where, where the diamonds and stuff The are. diamond capital. I would say of the world though. Yeah, they say the diamond capital of the world is in Kimberley. That's my Tebo mountain and two Tebo mountains. <laughs> it's flat, eh? They flat on the top. I mean, not next table mountain, table mountain. It's because it's flat on the top. So this is another table mountain. And a longer table mountain as well. And the other one, they can call it Devil's Peak. They're like side tables. Yeah, side tables. And then there's a main table or a bed on that side. so fatigued I think five days later you'll get tired but I would never trade this experience for anything else <laughs> like it's tiring and you guys are annoying of course. you piss me off sometimes yeah. I have to deal with you even when I don't want to deal with you yeah. yeah sometimes you annoy me and I want to be alone yeah, of course. especially you so let's get something You want bread, right? You can go to this one. Oh, wait. Give me. 
that one was not working, they are out of water. <laughs> you know, this one is closed. Okay, out too. of water. Look, what's the same there? But you probably have to ask for the key. Middle bag. Whatever. Not giving you the key. Bag. I'm okay, like, and we are out of middle there. Yo. So we just left. I missed the sign, but we're now out of the Eastern Cape. This and is where the Northern Cape starts. The Northern Cape starts here. So, welcome to the Northern Cape. Still scenic, but very dry. Mountainous. Super, super dry. Yeah? Yeah, very, very dry. This is what it looks like. Carlton Heights Down there They've done something like a dam and then there's some people living There yeah. The farm maybe or squatting here Did you see them? Yeah, we saw them Wow There's a township next to it And a cemetery. It's a big cemetery here. You want to have lunch here? I'll just stop for a while to cool down no the car and then you can get down. No fontaine is to that way. Are we getting into a course? Yes, this is course bag. So we're gonna stop somewhere here and then we'll see what to do there and then we'll proceed. So if we use the other route, the N1 route, this is where we would have ended up meeting, right? So if you're going to Cape Town, you come through here. Yeah, if you're going to Cape Town, you'll come through here, wow. So now this, the other route we would have taken would have led us here. Carry. Wait, but we need to get, you want to eat something there by the gas station, right? We can eat it anywhere, it doesn't have to be at the gas station. No. At the gas station we're gonna get junk. Yeah. So where do you want to go, because I can see the stuff there. That's KFC burgers, pizzas and all that. Yeah, just a bunch of shit. Can we get a good restaurant at the Coles, whatever? Uh, this is Colesburg, uh, so perhaps I can... What's the next city? The next city is shitty, but there's more if you go to uh, oh, Now you see we can see loads of trucks. Yeah, I coming think from Cape Town. The, 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 the route we used, uh, the garden route trucks don't really use it unless they're going to deliver something. Yeah, it's only delivery trucks, but these ones, you know, they're coming from Cape Town. And some of them are going to Durban. So this is the busiest road, obviously. Yeah. Different, even out of the country, we probably. There's that place there that is in front of us. I can stop there. Do they have good food or is it burgers and pizzas? They have good food. Not, that, not KFC, nothing. They if can't you, good food. If you go down into the town, there's some more options. If you want to have lunch. Okay, here. but I want to show you a place there that is there. Okay, cool. You may see if you want it or we can proceed. Alright. The next okay. one. 
What but do it's you mean? next next just after next to KFC. Oh. Uh, oh you know the place. He's been yeah. to this route before. I'm yeah. from Z I'm from Zimbabwe, so obviously you travel here quite often. Is this the route you use from Zim? N one goes to Zimbabwe, N one goes to Cairo, Egypt. Oh. Oh. Loads of trucks. If you, if you own one of these, you're rich. Yeah. Because they're very expensive, right? Mm. So imagine people who own like 10 or 50 or hundreds of these. Beef curry, yeah. That was an order for me? Yes. yes. Okay. Because I just said she's going to do an order for yeah. me. I didn't know Beef what curry I was going to as well. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Appreciate it. And yeah. tea. And what's that? Cheese. Cheese. Yes. Yeah. All right. So you're good now, no? We're yeah. good. Thank you. Good. How is it? It's okay. Okay, so this is what you're going to have. So it's a stop. We're done eating. A popular stop for travelers. In a uh, coast bag. Bag. So we were at that. What's the name of the kettle? What kettle farm? Something. Chago. Like kettle store. Chago, Chago farm, farm store. Or something like that. Yeah. That's where we were. Good food. Big up Chago farm store. So yeah, we had to cook. Now we headed towards Bloemfontein. We're gonna be there in a few seconds. Seconds. Okay. One, two, three. Why are we not Keep there? Counting. Four. Yeah. Five. If it gets to a minute, it stops being seconds. 1937, 58, 59. Okay, you said you've been blown fontaine. So are we in blown fontaine now? No. So most of the drive in this province of Northern Cape is, as you can see, it's just mountains and hills far away. And I think this is like farm. I'm not so sure if it's farm. And stuff. Yeah. And now you're going to start seeing trucks because now this is the N1. Is yeah. this the N1? The National Road 1. Right. So this is also the road that's supposed to lead you from Cape to Cairo. Right. So if every country connects, so this is the route you'll use kept to Cairo. Okay, so is this it? Yeah, yes. the Orange River oh, from the history. Orange, that's cars. Oh wow. So if, from your history geography classes, this is the famous Orange River. So now welcome to Free State. This is Free State. KwaZulu Natal is Free State. KwaZulu Natal is KwaZulu Natal. Free State is Free State. Oh, yeah. Good to know this given you way to overtake. I love how disciplined people good. are. People are very disciplined on the roads here. He knows you need to overtake. He allows you to overtake. Like lion's head. So uh, in Cape Town. Yeah, it looks like lion's head. <laughs> oh, I've not seen it. Yeah. Like down there. It actually looks more like a lion lying down, right? Yeah. Not just the head, the whole lion. Okay, this is the lion, not just the lion's head. So this is Bloemfontein. One of the capital cities of South Africa. No, the whole of South, South Africa has three capital cities. Bloemfontein, Pretoria, and Johannesburg. No. And Durban. No. What about Cape Town? <laughs> no, I think it's Bloemfontein, Pretoria. Are you sure of that? Johannesburg. Cape Town too. Wait, let me just confirm. So what, what is Pretoria and what is what is Cape Town? One is an administrative, one is commercial capital, and one is something else, judicial capital. Okay, and Durban? Durban is not one of the capitals. 
It's one of the nicest cities, cities though. Yes, with the best beaches, nice, be nice warm beaches. Summer all the time, every day. Summer in, in Durban every day. Anyway, so let me just check. Okay, we're gonna need gas soon. Okay, so the three capitals of South Africa are Cape Town, Pretoria, and Bloemfontein. Johannesburg is not one of them. We are in Bloemfontein. So when you see that sign, it's showing us we're going to Bram Fisher Airport or Maseru or to yeah. the city. Yeah, and for us, this is where we are, but we're going to go to Maseru, which is another country. You see, they show Maseru border. That's why they put the flag sign. Mm. Bischoff. If they added Bischoff too, it would be in Ethiopia. Bischoff. It's Boshoff. That's Boshoff. So Boshoff is about 122 kilometers. According to that board, that is down there on your far left. Mm -hmm. yes. Not according to me. Boshoff. Boshoff. So we're not getting into Bloemfontein CBD. That's left for a different day to explore. Or Kolsberg or Kimberley. We are heading to Maseru, which is the capital of Lesotho. I'm so excited. So when we're talking about the capitals of South Africa, Pretoria is the administrative capital. Cape Town is the legislative capital, like the laws are made in Cape Town. Cape Town. And then Bloemfontein is the judicial capital. Oh, okay. It's the home of the Supreme Court of South Africa. Like the constitution, the constitutional court, which is the highest court, is actually in Johannesburg. But Johannesburg is not considered a capital, so Bloemfontein is the judicial capital. So just a glimpse of what Bloemfontein looks like. 200 Nelson Mandela and yeah this is Bloemfontein guys but we're going to Lady something close to Lady the border. Brand something closer to the border yeah, between some, which is better Zanzi yeah. and uh, Lesotho so we just like so Bloemfontein is we, in free state yeah we are one hour 50 minutes away from the border so okay. it's not, we're not that far we like just nearby day five five days later over 2,000 kilometers later There's a bit of some shitty driving going on. Did you see that? Or maybe it's not because there's no signs. I think so. We use, use your camera from inside, please. From inside? Yeah. This Ooh. is Bloemfontein. This one is called Mama Joy. I wonder if Nigerians driving these cars. Yeah, maybe Nigerians because driving Mama these cars. Mama Joy. Nigerian. And thanks God, could you get closer? I don't want to chase them because I don't really know no, where you're not police chasing is them. in this area. But I'm, I'm doing the speed limit already. These guys are oh, cruising. Oh, oh, okay, they're cruising. These guys, they just came from you know, somewhere nearby. Maybe they're still having fun or starting their journey. Oh, so one car number plate is Mama Joy. Another one, thanks God, sounds Nigerian, so Nigerian. Okay, we're not so far from the petrol station now, but we have to get off the road. Officially out of Bloemfontein and Somewhere we're getting to Lady, Lady Bath. Lady Brand. Lady Brand. And so, one kilometer. One kilo, it's here. Is we're it here? going. Is it not here? No. Nah. No, 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 no. Must no. be there where that bin is. Okay, yeah. Yes, must be down there. Yeah, so we're going to take a short break. So we're probably like 20, 30 kilometers off. Yeah. Away? From Lady Brand? No, from Bloemfontein. No, we're not yet 20. Are we 20 already? No, maybe 20 maximum. Yeah, maybe we are 20 max. 20 out of Bloemfontein and this is what it looks like. 
we're going to take a short break because we've done over 400 kilometers already today thanks to our very you know our driver you can't drive like me i can drive <laughs> like you i can then no, no, i want to can drive like me I can drive like you, but I must applaud your, the work you've done. But I can do that. If I'm behind the wheel, I'm very good at talk it. Talk is cheap, my nigga. I know talk is cheap, but at when you come I... to Kenya, I'll revenge. Kenya doesn't have these smooth roads. That's that can, matter. But then, that that, can that, make that... one cruise for like a long distance but that's without getting tired. That's the reason, because the roads ain't as perfect and thousands, two thousands of kilometers good. That's why I'm telling you I'm better than you because I can still do that. Oh great, so another lay bay. Unfortunately people, no, unfortunately no one to empty these bins here. I think maybe the people who disposed this here wanted to dispose it here, but it's full. Hopefully this gets sorted out. Fuck. And at least we're not taking shit on the table. <laughs> like we found out in the other beautiful place, but shit on the table, you know. Look at all of them getting caught for speeding. Tickets, 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 tickets below. At that moment when you speed, then you get stuck. This road looks so nice. And Look, they're zooming on a car. Just use a wet wipe and then you'll be good. They're zooming on a yeah. car that's speeding. <laughs> Judith, look here. couple of kilometers from Bloemfontein and we now heading to Lady Bird which is like a hundred kilometers Lady Brand no it's Lady like Brand. 30 kilometers left okay We're so and it's almost like 10 kilometers away from the border right yeah 10 kilometers from the Maseru border and I'm so excited I can't wait to experience Maseru so I'm gonna learn a lot and I would be very much interested because there's no African country that is actually enclosed like all the four borders, north, south, east, west, southwest, or whatever border it's enclosed within South Africa. I'm very much interested in learning how did this happen. I hope I get someone who's very knowledgeable about it to share with me because this is the only African country that all the four north, south, east, and west are surrounded by South Africa. 10 kilometers to Lady Brand and 21 to Maseru. Yeah, I could easily walk to Maseru from this point. Yeah, I would love to believe so. Yeah, it's 21 kilometers. I'm a Kenyan. Are you forgetting okay. that? We yeah. run this. We long distance runners. So. Yeah, but she, she can. Okay, we can get her off the car now. Yeah, uh, and then she can walk. Yeah, can she walk. Can. Cool. Why is my ears blocking? Are we on a mountain or something? So, Lesotho. Wow, it looks so mountainous. Look at that flat mountain. Can you see the trees? That's the table mountain of Lesotho. Massive, no, but it's still in South Africa. Can you see this? Can you see it? Yeah. Uh, police, is it wow, okay really to record like poli police? Mm. A police stop again, Lady Brand, and to Maseru. But for tonight, maybe these are also immigration borders. Okay, let's check the military. So we're gonna sleep at Lady Brand and get information on how to get to Maseru, right? Okay. So one of the things that we need to do, because you see this is a police check. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to sleep at Lady Brand. Okay, you just Welcome to Re Lady B Brand. This is the border town. Oh, Master Diello and Denim. I thought we in this together. We've done more than 500 kilometers today. Yes. Uh, let's do the diesel thing first. First, yeah. yeah. Let's
let's refer. Whew. Lady Brand Toyota. This is the border town between South Africa and Lesotho. So, and our fuel tank is empty, so we're gonna need to fill it, right? Uh, I don't know what the time we left Credoc, but we are finally here. Welcome, welcome back to your Innovations channel. This is a channel where we're going to am I watching this? Uh, let's face the car to prove people where we come from. So, guys, we are at Lady, Lady Brand. What's that? <laughs> oh, the drugs! <laughs> so yeah, guys, we are at Lady Brand. I think this is one of the the last towns before you get to uh, the city. Maseru, yeah, before so, you get to yeah, the city. So yeah, um, you can tell these people are probably overlanding. Place, but. place looks cool, silent, no wind, different from Cape Town. Yeah, different so, from Jeffrey's Bay, different from Ashtray. like. Different Ashtray. from everything. Swimming pool. We don't need all that. Who has got time to swim? Is it free laundry facility? That one I might need it though. <laughs> Looks decent. I like it. Proper. Let's check it out. Yeah, check the bed. Two beds here. Mm -hmm. Is that all? <laughs> no, nah, it looks proper. I'm oh, and then it. there's a big bed here. And the toilet is like a two bedroom apartment. Kinda. Okay. Have you tested the beds? Yeah. <laughs> what, do you want, what do you want to test on the bed? Ash, come t do the bed test. <laughs> okay, here, come hold the camera for me. I do the bed test. Here. Turn on the lights for this place, please. Okay. Test. <laughs> and how's that? No, pretty good. Okay. It's okay ish. Mm. Okay ish. Mm -hmm. Okay ish. And what about small beds? Ah, uh, let me check the small beds. Yeah. Professional bed tester here. Yeah, my bed, your bed, and Ashby's. Yeah, sounds like an amazing plan. Yep. Woohoo! And here's your work spot. Yeah, I can actually you work can from look here. at yourself. And hoping the. Working. Oh, yeah. With your, on your high speed internet. All right, how much is this per night? What is our guest? Host? 350 per person per night. 350 per person, so that is oh, 10, 1100 rands. Per night. Okay, maybe we can make a deal. Okay, here yeah, we'll get a deal with them. Right? What do you think? Yeah, we'll make a deal. The place is good. Right? Yeah. Show sure, around. And this is how people hold cameras upright. Yeah. Apart from you, everyone but not you. Yeah. So, can we, is it negotiable? Yeah, I'm not sure you must go and speak to the manager. Okay, cool. Let's yeah, go talk I would to suggest the manager. To speak to them. All right, cool. Okay, who's gonna do this? Negotiate. Both of you. Me. Okay, she's doing it. Be polite. Remember? Always. No, I'm just like tired. I'm just chilling. Always. Wow. Swimming pool. 11 kilometers out of the border i'm so excited to be finally here five um, days later so this looks nice though yeah it looks nice yeah. it's like proper you know yeah today we are also saying goodbye to ashby it's really sad oh god it's getting rained on it's taking our bags to the boat it's been raining the whole time Morning, good morning again. So today is our last day and And it's raining. It's raining like crazy. This is a glimpse of where we stay, the living area, there's a space, some mirror there. 
where I sat last night doing my videos. The kitchen is here with Hi. Joanna. <laughs> and double room here for us, for the girls, and Ashby's room. So <laughs> this is basically what it looks like. Don't do that. Yay. I will go downstairs and ask her, okay? Hello. Yeah, yeah, cool. Oh, go on. What do you go for breakfast? I don't know. But this is okay. Oh, I didn't know this place had a swimming pool. Did you not see it when you came? No, I wasn't looking at it. So there's a swimming pool to that side. Mm. Okay. So how many stars? How many stars do you give this place? It's okay. Yeah, not bad. It's okay, not so bad. Not so bad, it's fair. Yeah. How are you feeling today? Yeah, I'm good, I'm good, I'm alright. Our last day together. Yeah, man. Where is breakfast? <laughs> no <laughs> breakfast. Until 9. Are you back? Is it until 9? No, they said until 10. Let's go, come on, don't worry about it. That's okay, but she it's said okay. until 10. Hey. I, yeah, she said until 10. No, no, no. She said yeah. until 9. She said until 9. Okay, let's go. Help me carry <laughs> this bag. <laughs> Don't leave yet. Five seconds. I remember the head food. What's that? The food I had, help me push the seat behind. Oh, the food you had? Yeah, I'm warming it. Oh, sorry. Uh, I have some shoe, shoes in the boot, right? I don't know. I don't know. Yes. I think so. The brown ones. Yeah. Let's put here. I'll take them just to remind me. Okay. This is yours. Lady Brand. This is mine, no? It's mine. It's his. The weather is terrible though. And from the weather predictions, this is how the weather is going to be like every day. Every day for the next one week. So I don't know how easy that would be for creation and even visiting uh, Lesotho. If it's not practical, we'll just leave. Free steps. <laughs> So, uh, we're going to get something to eat, some breakfast. Heading to the border now, out of Lady Brand. Okay, still in Lady Brand actually. Very cold, very, very cold. Yeah, and you've been wearing shorts. <laughs> wow, interesting. Yesterday we were sweating our ass off. Yeah, yesterday we were sweating and trying to keep cool. Today we're trying to keep warm. It just changes. Yeah. What a scenic drive. Very beautiful. But very few people living this side. Yeah. It's quite remote and there's a lot of space. Yeah. I wouldn't mind living here. Mm. <laughs> the road is good. Yeah. A teeny. So that is Oh, that's my Yeah. Oh, I don't know if I'm about to. See. So you can see my cerro from here. I'm going to drop you off. No, let's first find... Let's 
Okay, I don't know how, but anyway, these trucks are getting into Lesotho. We need to buy SIM cards for connection. Wow, so this is the border. But I'm not getting through there. Yeah, you're not. What? 